Ladies and gentlemen, in lightweight submission grappling, we welcome Gary Tonin and Tai Ruotolo. Gary, good to see you. How did you feel about the, the change of brother, the change of opponent? Uh, was that an interesting <laughs> one for you? Uh, you know, I, I'm sure they don't feel this way, but uh, they, I feel as though their jiu-jitsu is very similar. I do think Ty is a little better. I don't, I don't know if, if they argue about that at home or whatever, but uh, I think Ty is a little better. So, um, you know, all the, all the better of a matchup, in my opinion. Um, you know, I want to prove myself against the best. So. And how about you, Ty? How are you doing? And are you the better brother? <laughs> definitely he thinks that because we're fighting you know <laughs> coming up soon but yeah Ken and I we beat each other every single day you know subbing each other all the time so you know it's because of each other we got to this point beating each other every day so I wouldn't say one of us is better than the other maybe I'm a little more strategic if anything but uh I'm planning to let it all go and how do you feel about Gary Tonin is this a matchup that has been on the cards would you say for a, a while yeah, for sure. I remember uh, calling him out after I fought Nikki Ryan a few years back, and he was kind of when he was jumping in the whole MMA conversion. So he was kind of diving in here and didn't do too much jiu-jitsu since then. So I'm excited to see how he comes back, and uh, I'm stoked to finally just get the match with him. Super exciting grappler, and uh, I want to test my skills against him. So what happened with that, Gary, after the tie for Nikki Ryan? Uh, was it interesting seeing him fight one of your teammates and then call you out? And, and how is it? reach this point where it's finally happening now yeah sure um you know him and his brother have had numerous matchups against um uh, against teammates of mine so uh you know i got to see how they operated against guys that did you know some similar techniques um to some of the stuff that i do obviously so um you know and through competing against them that's how i know how good these guys are you know because they're able to beat some of my teammates so uh and because i train with those guys every day i don't know how good those guys are um now as as far as it, you know the match is, is concerned in terms of you know us getting to this point yeah i mean it's pretty much ty put it pretty plainly like you know i've been doing trying to focus on mma as much as i can so uh, i had an opportunity to take another jiu-jitsu match and i do that whenever i can whenever i have the opportunity and i don't you know and mma is not on the table at the time um so yeah i mean this is the first thing that they that they offered me and thankfully it was a great match so yeah so Gary is one of the biggest, biggest names in the game. How do you break down the threat that he offers uh, to you as an opponent? Uh, well, uh, actually, in certain ways, uh, stylistically, he's similar to me. Um, he has a, a game that's very much movement based. Um, I, I, I kind of I prefer grappling against people like that, um, people that disengage and aren't really interested in pushing the pace and are kind of just playing mostly defensive. Uh, it's it's a more frustrating matchup to be the one that kind of has to push the pace the entire time uh, and get people to open up. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but in terms of like preparation, um, I mostly just per try to prepare for uh, you know, some of the submission threats that he's best at. And uh, other than that, I keep a pretty similar style uh, to uh, to what I have have always done, you know. Ty, how do you feel about that assessment? And where do you see yourself as stronger than Gary? Where are you looking to attack him? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think Gary is very used to fighting opponents who are kind of like to stall with him. You know, I think he has very dangerous leg locks. And uh, when the leg locks came into jiu-jitsu, a lot of people, you know, weren't up to date with them. So he definitely poses a big threat in that department. But that was my thing, you know, a couple the past couple of years, me and my brother were so good at defending leg locks. And that's all we put our time towards. And uh yeah, I'm feeling confident in that department, and I think he's not going to be able to to be as uh, give up as many positions, and he's not going to be able to to play the same game he usually does with me because I'm used to and I'm and I know his attacks that he's going to uh, that he wants to do. So, yeah, I'm excited to test my skills against him. It'll be good. Do we see a finish coming here, Gary? Uh, yeah, I mean, I always go into every match assuming that I'm going to submit somebody. Um, I, I think doing anything other than that, it's you're, I mean, you're setting yourself at a disadvantage. It's the main, it's in a sub only tournament. This is the only way that we win. Um, and even in the context of not, uh, even in the context of a decision win, um, it's who's going after the submissions most often. So, uh, yeah, I see it ending in a submission. Uh, I definitely think he's uh, super tough and, and uh, you know, it could go the distance. Yeah, it could definitely go the distance. It's, I don't, I think he's, 
uh, absolutely competent enough to defend many attacks. He mentioned being uh, a little bit better at defending leg locks than maybe some of my previous opponents, uh, which I would agree with, you know, seeing him compete against some of my teammates who went after various leg locks on him and went into uh, uh, various submissions. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'll walk away victorious with a submission for sure. And Ty, same question for you. Uh, are you uh, more motivated than ever to get a finish here, given that it's your debut? Are you looking to make a splash in that regard? 1,000%. Yeah, we always, we, me and Gary both, we always look for the submission when we're fighting. But uh, yeah, with the $50,000 bonus and the fact that it's my debut on one, I definitely want to make it as exciting as possible and look for the sub. I want to finish them for sure. That's my goal. How do you feel about coming back to submission grappling, Gary? Do you feel refreshed? Is it nice to, to take a step away from MMA competition for a little while? And How do you now look back on the, the title fight? Uh, I actually like MMA a lot uh, now. Uh, I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't really, I don't know if I want to say I enjoy a break from it. I'm still training and everything anyway, but uh, you know, I kind of want to get a mat, uh, another matchup in MMA as soon as I can. Um, but, you know, grappling feels like home for sure, you know, preparing for this and doing all the drills and the things that I used to do to get ready for grappling matches. Um, it just feels very comfortable to me. So I, I do uh, I do like that a lot. Um, and then I think you mentioned in the question kind of reflecting on the previous title fight. Um, yeah, man, I, I mean, I kind of just want to get back in there, you know, obviously not the result I was looking for in the previous fight. So, um, yeah, I just I, 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 MMA is is my main goal now and main focus. Uh, I'll probably continue to compete in grappling during any periods of time where um, any periods of time where I don't have something coming up right away in MMA, just because I like to stay active. I think it keeps me healthy, keeps me in shape and, and uh, you know, in a competitive spirit. So. Last week in an interview, Ty said that he would break you mentally before submitting you. Uh, do you think he's fooling himself to say that he can break your will? Uh, I think it's a, it's a nice thing to say for an interview. Um, so I don't really take it to heart, but um, I think that uh let's just put it this way. It's never happened before. So, I mean, I've been submitted before, uh, but there's never been a match that anybody's ever watched uh, of mine uh, where I competed against somebody and I just like quit. So, I mean, best of luck. <laughs> Some people have spoken about a rivalry between yourself and the Rio Tolo brothers. Is there a rivalry? Like what is the vibe between you guys? Uh, I don't really think so. I mean, I think, well, Gordon's a very uh, well, I don't know if well spoken is right. Gordon, Gordon's very loud. Let's put it that way. Um, so, and Gordon tends to, uh, tends to attack Atos often. So I think that maybe it has more to do with that than uh, me personally. Uh, I don't really think I've ever said anything. The closest I think we've had to having a rivalry, uh, like obviously them competing against my teammates and doing well uh, is, I mean, I obviously would like to beat them. Um, but uh, I think, you know, when we were trying to put together matches after his call out, like I may have said something because uh, we tried a few times to try to make the match happen and it wasn't happening. So I didn't know if he was just trying to use my name to, uh, to like get attention or not, but obviously not. Cause here we are. <laughs> and Ty, how do you feel about Gary and his team? Do you think it's good for the sport? Have you sensed the rivalry over the years? What, what is the vibe as far as you're concerned? No, yeah, there's definitely a little rivalry between Atos and DDS for sure. And, uh, there's nothing really personal between Gary and I. I definitely, him being on DBS kind of makes me want to beat him a little more, maybe, if anything. But there's nothing, not a big rivalry. I don't really have anything personal against him. But, uh, yeah, I'm just looking to put on a good show and, and to uh, show him that I can break him. And I probably will break him for sure. Do you see Gary as the toughest first test for you in this division right now? Do you see yourself as starting with the best guy? Yeah, Gary uh, definitely had been at the top for a long time, you know, and to have my debut against the guy that's, you know, that uh, that's accomplished, you know, I'm very grateful and, and stoked. But with that being said, you know, I think uh, I think I'm going to be able to have all the tools I need to, you know, to take him out. So, yeah, we'll see on on Friday. Gary, you've now been around one championship for a little while. I remember your submission grappling fight with uh, Shinya Aoki. Now we're seeing new talent and 
So Mission Grappling being a regular fixture, how pleased are you to see it and to see all these new signings coming in? Oh, I think it's really cool for the sport. Uh, it, it is possibly, it's hard to say because it's very early on. This is the first, this is the first major attempt by a professional mixed martial arts organization um, to incorporate grappling into what they do. Um, I'm sure that it's happened a, a few different times, whether it be in semi-pro organizations or whatever the case may be. And even in even in one, you know, like you said, I had the match with Shinya, but that was years ago. They haven't been doing it consistently. It seems as though they're making a push now to do consistent grappling shows, um, you know, on a world stage in front of a very large audience. Um, and like I said, in a, in a professional organization uh, that is typically doing MMA, um, it seems like this may be kind of another step up in the professionalism or professionalization, if that's even a word, I'm not really sure, of jujitsu. Um, almost similar to what happened when I was coming up through the ranks, uh, you know, because when I first started, professional jujitsu wasn't really even a thing. Uh, maybe you competed in a grappler's quest for a thousand bucks after beating like seven of the best dudes that were way heavier than you. Um, and that was like the best you could do. I mean, you could win ADCC, I guess, but there only there was only one guy every two years that was going to be able to win the absolute division in ADCC. Um, and even that wasn't a crazy amount of money. Um, so the sport just uh, it really, it wasn't very professional. Um, and then I would say, as I became a black belt and maybe a few years after that, it's the professionalism, uh, you know, kind of skyrocketed to some degree, like we uh, a bunch of different organizations started offering money uh, to various people to compete and, and you know the the ecosystem of grappling became uh, a lot bigger um, and the economy became a lot bigger um, in terms of uh, professional grappling. Um, so it could be the case if this trend kind of kicks off and other people follow suit um other organizations and things like that that uh this will be a second wave of uh you know increased pay and um increased professionalism among uh brazilian jiu-jitsu athletes so that could be really cool ty what's your plan for one championship your brother spoke about wanting to compete a lot and looking at mma for the future what's your plan in this organization Man, uh, probably the same as my brother. Probably hope to do it a little bit better than him. You know, as always, we're so competitive. But uh, yeah, I want to become uh, the best at jujitsu, and uh, I don't have to get past Gary to become the best at that. I want to. I think it's possible that one might be doing more, uh, a lot more grappling matches and doing like a whole league. Is from what, what, what I've been told. So to be the champ at that would be super cool. Maybe get the double belt for MMA and jujitsu. That was uh, that would be some pretty cool goals for sure. Is there anyone on your radar of anybody you'd really like to fight either in jiu-jitsu or MMA in one championship or somebody who's rumored to be signing with one championship? Um, I would really love to get Gary in an MMA match for sure, you know, depending on how this match goes, this next one. But uh, yeah, I would love to back to my debut against Gary for jiu-jitsu and MMA for sure. I'd be, uh, I think it'd be very exciting. I think the same with my brother and Shinya. We were thinking about it. Maybe we swap the opponents or something. That'd be fun too. But uh yeah, I definitely want to be able to, to, to get an MMA map sooner than later. And Gary, how do you feel about that prospect? Uh, I don't know if they've let it happen, but uh, I, I'm excited for it. I would love to see that. Uh, I remember when I competed against Shinya uh, years ago, uh, I, was, I was asking about doing that. And I still have been, you know, it's, an, it's a cool idea to have, you know, because I grappled against him and then to be able to have an MMA contest against him. I would still love that opportunity at some point. Uh, in the future, if it was ever on the table. Um, so I totally understand uh, Ty being interested in doing the same thing. Uh, I don't know if they would allow him his first fight to be against me, but if they did, you know, I'm, I'm down. It works for me. And Gary, how do you see that other fight going uh, between Shinya and uh, Kate? Uh, I've mentioned this a few times in several different interviews. I don't know if it, either him or his brother heard me, but I... Uh, I think it's likely that Cade beats him, but I think that he, I think that both of them will underestimate Shinya's abilities uh, in this match. Uh, I think that it's going to be a surprise to Cade how tough Shinya actually is. Uh, and I mean, maybe I'm, my mentality is very different than theirs, but whenever I go into a contest against somebody who does MMA um, consistently and they've never really been like a professional jiu-jitsu guy, I kind of like go to myself, I'm like, all right, like this guy's probably going to be tough, but I mean, he doesn't do what I do every day. 
So like it could it couldn't possibly be that tough. But like man, Shinya is that tough. Like uh, when we competed against each other years ago, um, you know, it was a different uh, you know it was a different level of grappling back then. But still, like uh, it was a it was a big surprise uh, how difficult the match actually was and how how difficult uh, submitting him actually was. Um, so I mean, he's he's up for an exciting match. I think this is going to be a tough one, a tougher one for uh, for Cade than he thinks it's going to be. Well, Ty, welcome to One Championship. Gary, great to see you back. Good luck to both of you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, boss. Thank